Hello and welcome to this Tech Talk video. That's that's a very tough thing to say. Um, my name is Nick Ellis. I'm the PC Computer Guy. You can find this and other tutorials on my website, www.pccomputerguy.com. You can also find me on facebook.com slash pccomputerguy or twitter.com slash pc underscore computer underscore guy. What we're going to talk about today is going to be pretty brief, but very important. And we're going to be talking about forwarding emails. So frequently I see people forward emails and they use the to field to include everybody's name. So you might have John Smith at 123.com and Billy at 123.com or whatever in here, right? When you forward it using the to or the CC, which is essentially the same thing as the to, you, everybody that receives that email sees everybody else that that email was sent to. If that's your intended purpose, then that's perfectly fine. Say, for example, an employee wants to send a email to both their um, supervisor and to another employee so that the supervisor sees that the employee received the message. Then that would be appropriate to use these fields. However, if you're just forwarding an email, some kind of funny thing that you got or whatever to 20 or 30 different people, everybody shouldn't see who else, everybody else that received the message. Not so much for the privacy, although that in, in and of itself is important, but it's it's just kind to protect other people's email addresses. And when you use the CC to forward that to everybody on your distribution list, then that means that your email address is now broadcasted to all those people. This is a way that spammers collect email addresses. Say I forward an email to Bill and 20 other people. Bill in turn forwards that to another 20 people. That means the person that Bill forwarded it to has all of the 20 people's email addresses that Bill sent it to, including the previous 20 that I sent it to as well in the chain. You've seen those emails where you scroll through and there's email addresses after email addresses after email addresses. Well, we don't want that to happen because that's, again, where, where spammers can pick up some information. So to help combat that and to protect your email address, or more importantly, to protect the email addresses of everybody else, it's, it's just good common um, internet etiquette to use the BCC field this field right here in order to send emails. Now this is displayed using Outlook, so the BCC field is right here. If you are, um, and you can do something like uh, one two three uh, Tom one two three at testme.com, comma Bill at Bill's site dot com, whatever. Um, so I'm going to put those right in there. Uh, so you can just add a comma or a semicolon between each email address and you can this way forward it to the 20 or 30 people. You can also click the button right here if you're using Outlook specifically and you'll get the same list that you get when you click to this. Um, but when I send it this way, Bill won't see that Tom got it. Tom won't see that Bill got it. The only thing that they'll see is that I sent it. They won't see everybody else that received it. And so when they forward it on, there won't be 40 email addresses or 100 email addresses attached to that. So. Whenever you're forwarding email, especially if it's just a joke email or something of that nature where it is not important that person one and person two see that both of them received it, use the BCC field. It is very good. It will help reduce spam. It won't stop spam, but it'll definitely help reduce it. And it just makes the world a better, happier place for everybody. So for more on this, like I said, you can find me on my website, www.pccomputerguy.com. There's plenty of tech tips, podcasts, articles, and much more free goodies on there. Thank you for listening, and until next time, bye-bye.